Good morning folks, uh, Friday, uh, July 23rd, 2021. Uh, today we've got a uh, 2000, brand new 2021 Subaru Forester. Um, this is sort of like the uh, mid-level model. It has uh, cloth seats, but it has the uh, sunroof and uh, power everything. Um, this is actually a uh, rental car for the day. And uh, you notice on the newer models, I, I own a uh, 17 Forester Limited. It still has a key. This has a key fob, and you can just tap this uh, little sensor in the door handle. It'll uh, unlock it, or you can hit the button manually. And it has an engine start button. I actually prefer the old type of uh, climate controls uh, with the three knobs, you know, uh, it's a little more basic, but uh, you know, these are, that's where the times are going these days, so that's fine. Um, the radio uh, has the buttons on the steering wheel. And the volume, and the, I'm actually going to turn the radio on, otherwise it'll, uh, I'll have to pay, uh, royalties to the uh, musicians, but uh, it's the gigantic sunroof that mine also has. Take it for a drive. So far, I've driven the car three miles and it seems to have uh, done pretty well. But the one thing I don't like is the uh, the, the headrests on the new one. This, this, you know, I noticed this about the last Forester that I rented, uh, as well as the Crosstrek that I rented. The headrests are really uh, intrusive, and even at their furthest back condition, they're still too far forward. So I'm just going to hang on to my 17 Forester forever, but uh, which is the plan anyway. But uh, let's take it for a spin. All aboard. It's decent acceleration, you know, this has the uh, 2.5 engine, same as in my uh, 17, so the power is pretty much equivalent to that. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's about to be what to be expected. Similarly, the, the last Forester I rented was a uh, 2020, and that was a uh, limited model, so that added the leather seats and the uh, larger um, uh, LCD display. I actually requested an ascent. I wanted to try that out, but uh, uh, they didn't have any on a lot at the time, so uh, yeah, they were all out of them. So, Forester instead, which is fine. You know, it's a. I'm really. I just needed something to get uh, 
to and from work. Handling's pretty nice. Um, I think it, honestly, I, I'd recommend this vehicle uh, if it weren't for the the new uh, the, the headrests. Uh, that's the one thing that I can't really can't really stand. Uh, you know, it's fine for the 20 minute drive to work, but I wouldn't want to try. You know, like I'm getting uh, my car ready for a 2,600 mile road trip, uh, which is one of the reasons it's in right now. It's uh, you know, lights and service it has the uh, the air conditioning has been coming on and off intermittently which is indicative of a um, uh, the AC uh, condenser uh, clutch uh, which can stick and um, you know another great thing on the in the dead of summer out in the Midwest so uh, uh, which is where I'm going, I'm going to uh, Wisconsin and in Indianapolis um, so I'm gonna uh, and have that checked out, and then all the basic stuff, you know, just getting it ready for the for the road trip, the uh, you know, oil filter change, tire rotation, all that stuff. Uh, and uh, uh, you know, so yeah, I plan to plan on hang hang on to my car uh, forever. But I figured, well, I'm if this is a rental, I might as well uh, might as well try it out, make a video of it. It does have a very nice ride. Good steering, braking, everything is uh, spun on. Actually, I think all new cars have these really intrusive uh, headrests, but uh, I think it might be a, uh, say, you know, a, a safety uh, uh, you know, regulation now. But I don't know. I uh, I just can't get it. I'm gonna. Keep on, you know, I'm going to hang on to my car. It's about 75,000 miles, never, never give me any problems. Um, so, you know, hang on to that forever. Driving around Lake Quantapau in the uh, summertime is there's uh, no shortage of scenery. One thing my car does as well, if uh, you heard that little beep beep that just happens um, uh, when a vehicle in front of you has uh, uh, started to, to roll, um, it, uh, it lets you know, it tells you that the uh, 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 vehicle in front has moved or something to that nature. So. See how the traffic is on the highway, it's all backed up, I'll just go around the rotary again and uh, Oh yeah, screw that. Let's go around one more time and uh, take 129 to work. Do a highway test on it later. Make a uh, subsequent video. Right now I just wanna get to work and don't feel like sitting in traffic, so. Take the back roads, which is what I normally do anyway, but just 
hoping to get some highway footage, but uh, I'll do that on the way home. Anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Good night and good luck.